Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to a brand new Ocarina of Time randomizer. It's been a while since I've done one of these solo. Let's go ahead and name the file Fox. And you'll see why in a second if the thumbnail doesn't already give it away. Oh, we got a gray tunic this time. Yeah, we are Fox McCloud. Hey, wait, what happened to his voice? Well, hang on a second. Uh, cost, custom voice, Fox voice. There it is. I don't know why that disabled itself, but you know, a little clunky start. But yeah, we are Fox McCloud as a uh, child and adult Link. His adult Link voice clip is from Smash Ultimate instead of Melee as a child. Um, let's see what Mido's house has. Purple hearts. Yeah, I told the cosmetic options to just randomize themselves into whatever it felt like doing. I didn't know that the heart pieces and stuff reflect the color, though. Oh, hearts galore. Got pink C buttons. It actually looks kind of cool. The pink and the purple. I wonder what color magic's gonna be. So yeah, it's been a while since we've done one of these solo, um... Most recently I did this playing as Fox McCloud as a, um... As a two-player randomizer on Attacking Toucan's channel. So if you haven't seen that, head on over to his channel and check it out. It was a tough seed that we did. But it wasn't so bad when we tag-teamed it all. Man, this is nothing but pieces of heart. So options wise, it's a little bit different from what I normally do. We're on version 7.1 now, there's a lot more options. So it would be foolish if I just generated a seed like I always do. So I have Key Sanity on for the first time by myself, because when I played with Tyler, attacking Toucans, uh... We had Key Sanity on, and it wasn't so bad between the two of us. So I could see how that option is fun now, but I do have it on like a little a bit of an easy mode, because there's the Key Ring setting where you get all the keys in one bundle. Uh, we got Shop Sanity. Let's see what the shop has. Grape Jelly Hearts. Oh, and they're all 10 rupees because I have it on affordable. That's amazing. We could clean sweep all the shops and get a kind of like a fast start. I like that idea. Although it's nothing but hearts right now. Um, the rest of this, I guess, is vanilla. Aside from the nut, do you want a nut for 10 rupees? Boy, do I want that nut. Nah, we'll get nuts somewhere else. So yeah, we got Shop Sanity, four items each, uh, but it's affordable, so it should be pretty quick. Key Sanity with key rings. So, if we find a key ring, for example, of the Fire Temple, it will be all the keys of the Fire Temple in one pickup. So it's not that bad. But I've never done key sanity before, or messed with the key rings, so that's new. Oh yeah, Fox doesn't have an arm or a waist for some reason. I don't know what that's all about, but... Ah, yes. So, since the last Zelda randomizer I did on this channel, what have I said commentary-wise between all the Let's Plays I've done in that time window since then? That's the challenge that's bestowed upon me right now. Because I know there's a large crowd. Or there used to be a large crowd. Of people who only tune in to the Zelda randomizers. And I've said a lot, and told a lot of stories since then. Take. 
So it's kind of like a desire of mine to be able to recount. Oh, uh, Pot Sanity is off. I thought about putting it on, but yeah, that building's going to be just jars in there. I was very close. Like 98%. Ready to click on that button, and then I, I decided not to. Beg Poi Bottle? That's... Oh, that's fake. That's right, the misspellings mean it's not real. I think. We'll buy a Deku Shield. Yeah, I guess that was supposed to be a big Poe Bottle, but... I don't trust it. It's a trap. What we got in here? A sword? What... Big Goron Sword, Wallet, Bow, Strength Upgrade, holy crap! What is this, Majora's Mask? Where the trading post has everything you need in the beginning? Wait, can we afford it? Yeah, we can, we have... Well, why not, dude? I like this affordable option. It is a fast start. But no, when you think about it, though... Don't get angry, man. I didn't plandomize any of this stuff. That was a lot, but at the same time, it was not a lot. We still don't have an ocarina, we still don't have any songs. There's still a lot of stuff to find in this game. Even though there was just a huge chunk right there. Big Goron Sword is optional anyway, so that doesn't matter. Uh, what did I do with the egg? Is the egg shuffle? No, the egg is the egg. Okay, so that means... The letter... Wait, we should hang out back here. Water temple's on the way, the hero. So we gotta do the water temple. Yeah, let's sit here and just kind of wait for nighttime, and we'll do Richard in the market. Um, check the nighttime shop. The bomb chew shop. The egg will hatch. We can wake up Talon. And when we wake up Talon, we could get Zelda's letter, and Zelda's lullaby will be something. So the letter's gonna be the same. The song is gonna be some something different. Mm. What the heck? That's a weird noise. That's the noise he makes when his shield breaks. Or when he falls asleep or something. I can't remember in Smash Bros. Oh, get away, Brownie Samsonite. Let's get little Richard. Oh, Navi turns red when it comes to speaking to people. I kind of liked that red. It made me happy on the inside. All right, Richard, what do you got for us? Well, the crates are all still messed up from 200 rupees. Well, that's actually perfect because we're going shopping. Hover boots? No. Wait, what? Is that a key ring? It is. Gold skull for the token. Might as well. It's only 10 rupees. Small key ring for the Shadow Temple, so all the Shadow Temple's keys. So we need to find the Anacarina and the Nocturne of Shadow, Magic, and Din's Fire. For that to be worth anything. Yeah, get out of here, Chuckles. It sounds like he says Weight Watchers when he wakes up. But then again, I think Ganondorf says Weight Watchers, too. When he throws his spark. <laughs> Zelda's letter we do not have to give to the guard because the gate is already open. The masks, masks are already done. And the song is... Bomb shoes. Bomb shoes are in logic, so that's 20 choices we have to make wisely. Use bombs wisely. Let's 
get some more money. No, wash well, does that open up bomb chew bowling? I don't want to do bomb chew bowling right now, though. Well, there's the slingshot game. We have rupees. It would be foolish not to spend them on something. I should just clean sweep the games, but I'm being picky. That lady in her itchy back, man. Ichiban. All right, control stick. I don't like you and you don't like me. Normally I play on Project 64 with a GameCube controller. Hmm. <laughs> okay. But we are playing on Mod Loader 64 now with an N64 USB controller. And the problem with that... Yes! First try, man! Small key ring for the Water Temple. And the Water Temple we know is on the way of the hero, so that's good. I kind of like that idea of just having all the keys. You don't have to worry about the key counts. You just have them all. What was I saying, though? Oh, the control stick thing. Yeah, this control stick is garbage. Because I bought it off of Amazon, and it's just like a random knockoff controller trying to be like the N64. Oh, these pink bomb shoes. It's kind of weird. The last time I was doing this, I was saying words, and words were being said back to me. But now it's like, is there anybody out there? Just not if you can hear me. Is there anyone home? Come on now. I hear you're feeling down. Um. Let's see. Some time ago I was talking about a podcast I listened to called uh, The Broken Record by with Rick Rubin. And it was Rick Rubin interviewing John Frusciante of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And they touched on this idea of talent. And I know I, I brought it up uh, in that randomizer I did with Attacking Toucans. And I also brought it up in a thing I did with Nintendo Capri Sun. This should be zero chickens because you know me, no nonsense policy. Thank you. All right, let's check the grotto. If you don't know me and my no-nonsense policy, I have very little patience for nonsense, so if given the choice to rescue chickens or not, I will always choose not. Two tokens for every boy. Yeah, we're going Surf City, gonna have some fun. Even though my voice is monotone and that is dumb. Now, I always thought it was kind of funny how that song sounds like they're not having fun at all. But the Beach Boys can sing. Wait, did the Beach Boys do Surf City or was that Jan and Dean first? Hang on. What do we got here? Stop thinking about Jan and Dean. We got the spirit medallion. I guess we could do Dodongo's Cavern. Dodongo's Cavern or Zora's River. We don't have a sword, so we can only do a few checks in Dodongo's. There should be a food place called Dodongo's. I don't know what they would sell. Hot dogs? I don't know the logic behind that. Maybe because Dodongo has dong in the name and dongs are hot dog shaped. Ha! 
Hi, Navi. How are you? I like Fox's noise when he jumps and he's just like, shoo. So, yeah. I brought up a podcast thing and kind of stopped talking about it. Um. Miss! Good thing for that Goron bracelet. Mid. Washcloth. Man, we're getting rubbish. We, we don't want the rubbish. I had a roommate who used to say lettuce like lebish because he was from China and he did not understand much English at all and I had to teach him the ways of lettuce. And basically he learned from me how to order a sandwich. And I think he got that sandwich every day because it's all he knew. I don't know why a guy from China was in the middle of eastern Pennsylvania. At the time, but uh... So it was. I've been places, you know? We gotta be careful with these bomb chews, but... Uh, token sanity is dungeons only. In this case, it's a piece of crap. Well done. Didn't fire? Nope. Bomb chews. Well, hey! We got all our bomb shoes back. Well, that's good. Actually, we could do the rock maze. Oh. Oh. This is probably the most foolish thing to do with bomb shoes, but. You can't give me bomb shoes and then have me not think of this. But yeah, what do you guys think about that? I know I brought it up in the attacking toucan seed already, but uh, talent, does it exist? Or can practice override talent? Both Tyler and Nintendo Capri Sun had some things to say about that. That was kind of interesting. I don't know why the crates are all blue. It's like a, a mod loader thing. Oh, nuts. We don't have quadruple damage on or anything. Yeah, in that podcast thing, though, they were talking about the value of being really bored and not knowing that you're not funny. You can stop this guy with bomb shoes, right? Hello, is anybody out there? weird. I used to ask questions all the time in my videos and not think twice about it. Now I think it's weird. Dang it! What are you? Besides rubbish and lebbish. There was another thing in that podcast I remember, just 
thinking about it, I'm like, it's it's hard to think of commentary I've talked about in great detail before. But uh, in addition to the value of being very bored thing, there was something along the lines of like what happens in your brain. The moment you decide to do something, like you decide on a movie, or you just decide on what you want to eat. I just found that kind of fascinating, the fact that they were trying to bottle that very whatever that is that happens in a split second. And they were trying to relate it to music. You are a fool! Oh, yeah, I know my commentary is not on a roll yet here, but come on now. You got a purple piece of heart. Gonna have some fun. Yeah, maybe we should just drop the podcast thing. I don't. It's been so long since I listened to it. I can't talk about it in great detail like I did in some other video. Oh, the wolves! What? I thought that killed them. But his back was made of pure armor. All right, bomb chew. Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. In the Metal Mario room. I mean, it could be considered in logic. Nah, it's considered trash. Alright, this guy... We gotta see what the song is. I remember, though, that podcast did make me think of, uh, the question, why do common people exist? Man. What is this? Hearts only or something? Forced to have a horde's din's fire. Well, that's something. Sure, I will buy the knot. Well, we have a nut now. Um... Let's put it on the old down C button, save the game, and ponder, what about the tree? We could get the map chest, we have a shield so we can get the slingshot chest and the other chest next to it. And then we could go into the compass room and hope that it has sticks in it. Otherwise, we have to save and quit. But at least that's still two more checks. And the save and quit isn't really that big of a deal, so... Hey, hey Navi, you're an all-star. Zelda's Lullaby! Now we need an ocarina and we'll be rolling in something. Stop with the hay. Hey. 
Yeah, why do common people exist? I pondered it one time. Because it's hard to accept because of the fact that there's creative people. So if you can have a choice between a person that's really talented and creative versus just somebody who's common and flips burgers and takes out the trash, like how do, how do you accept that compared to the other one? Because listening to creative people is just so much more interesting, like what they have to say and stuff. Not to say that a common man can't be interesting either. Maybe it's all just about like whether or not you get the choice or the, the chance. I've been thinking a lot about that lately. It's just like you gotta take chances. Like, nothing happens unless you take chances. There was a really tan girl at the beach, and I went up to her and asked her how she got so tan, and how long it would take for somebody as white as me to tan. <laughs> I don't know. I had a little bit of whiskey first, and I was like, I'm gonna go talk to this girl about tanning. Wait, we already had a Deku Shield. Alright, Last Chance Blueprint. Name that song. It's Last Chance Blueprint by Rise Against. So far, we're getting crap upon crap. And it's a bunch of trash. Man, you guys are just full of it this time around. What does this have to say? 40, well, we already, we don't need a wallet, really. Dude. Man, we're running low on the shoes. There's a heart container in the Desert Colossus, my gosh. Jetchu betcha. What is that from? Fairly Odd Parents or something? I'm having a hard time getting my commentary flow here. Flow. Excuse me, flow. Just nothing but blue bees for like the past five minutes. Talking about blue bees. Take. Oh, yeah. Take. I still have a couple notes next to me here of old commentary. And there's something here scratched. I scribbled down the subconscious echo to the conscious observations. Do you guys remember when I talked about the subconscious echo? I don't know what video that was. I don't think it was a randomizer. Stupid pea hat. Back you devils. But yeah, that's that all goes back to what happens when you make a decision. Like what ha what's that spark in the moment that makes it happen? It's the subconscious echo to the conscious observation. And that idea of a subconscious echo is just awesome. 
Odd loader crates looking weird. Dang it, another bloopy. All right, I'll see you at the waterfall, I guess. Can I get to it from here? No. The Bolero of Fire. Very nice. We got an eight pound fish. We're gonna cook it in a dish. I had some really good fish on vacation, man. Dang it, I hate you. Except not really, you're amazing. What? Eh, crud. I forgot to open the door of time in the settings. Well, that changes a whole bunch of how I'm thinking about this. How did I overlook that? Okay, we could play this game in here. Yep, 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 yep. Start looking. You can start looking, but you ain't gonna find them. But do, 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 find the chicken. I suck at this game. Yeah, you found the chicken. Oh, so good. Dang it! Crap upon crap, man! Magnus von Crapple! Okay, there's a new thing. I don't know if it's 7.1 new. Well, there's this guy. This guy has something. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna smack everybody in the cheeks. Come on, chicken, we have a destiny. The frogs. You can now change every single individual ocarina song. Because you know how normally the frogs give you 50 rupees for playing them songs? And only the Song of Storms is special? Well, now you can make those 50 rupees appear anywhere else. Meaning that the frogs now give you something for every song. And I have that enabled. I thought that was the Ocarina of Time for a second. These purple hearts. They look like the Ocarina of Time spinning in the distance. Unfortunately, we don't have an Ocarina... Or any song. Well, we have Zelda's Lullaby, but... And the Bolero. But that's, that doesn't work with the frogs. Gonna be magic. Here we go. Nope, it's another heart. Man, this really is the heart and bloopy seed. So far. Alright, it's top of the river. Better be a scale so we can continue doing or an ocarina so we can actually go into the domain. That would be the ideal situation. Doodle -doo. Yeah, I was recently in Alabama on the Gulf Shore. 
and it was a pretty good time. I had one scary moment, though. Six tokens. Crap, where do we go from here? Is it brown? It is brown. Okay. I was stumped, and I was thinking about the shops and the scrubs, and this shop came to mind. And lo and behold, it is not a slidey door. That's as Adult Link. There's a song in here. Surya song. We could play that for the frogs too once we get an ocarina. A jelly heart container. Man, I thought that was gonna be it. Cause I'm stumped a little bit, I gotta say. We could buy more bomb shoes. Now we really can't buy anything. Well, what the heck can we do? We have no sword. Wait a minute. We might have a sword. Isn't there a stick in this pot? Wait. I can grind up to 10 sticks and then we can have a sword to get spiders. And uh, Dodongo's Cavern is a little bit... Yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Ah, another bloopy. All right, well, we have 10 sticks now, and we are by Dodongo's Cavern. Why are the beans planted already? Did I check that instead of the door of time or something? I don't know what happened when I generated this thing, but apparently I overlooked the door of time and enabled the beans already being planted. But these sticks should be able to take out the Lizalfos. So we should be able to clean sweep this dungeon. Just in the standard fashion. Although, wait a minute, we don't have the slingshot. This place has Deku scrubs, though. The scrub sanity is a thing. Alright, how many sticks does it take? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a tussy pop? Two jump slashes, I want to say? If memory serves correctly. Has anybody had the new barbecue Doritos? They're probably not that new anymore by the time this goes out. I don't even think they're considered new right now. Topiak pudding. I don't understand my notes, man. I've got these like scribble post-it notes all over the place. I just keep glancing around and reading my old commentary notes and uh, this one in particular that I just looked at says stuck in the hospital on substances. Like, what does that even mean? Yeah, what do you have? A wallet? No. Highland Shield. What do we need? We need an ocarina, dude. We need a sword. We need the song of time.
because we're running out of kid stuff to do soon. Alright, now the dungeon proper. That was all the optional stuff that you can normally skip. Although I did forget about that scrub. Oh yeah, the sculptulas in this dungeon. You always gotta come back for them, it's annoying. Vacation. Dang it, dude, another bloopy. I had an outstanding maintenance issue in my apartment, and uh, I think they fixed it. But now I got another thing going wrong, wrong. My kitchen sink won't stop dripping, and the hot water doesn't work. And I actually just got back, so I haven't tested the shower yet, either. So, I don't know, man. Whoops. Oh yeah, did I tell you the scary thing that happened on vacation? It was mostly good, but one of the days the ocean was really strong, and uh, it had like an undertow or something. And I started to get pulled away, and I was getting real tired, and couldn't swim back, and then there was this little girl that couldn't swim back either, and I, I just saw this panic in her face, and I looked at her, and I was like, are you okay? And she's just like, no. So I had to, like, reach out and grab her and swim as hard as I could to try to get us both to shore. <laughs> Luckily, she had a boogie board and I was telling her to hold on to it. For some reason, she didn't want to. The Hylian shield looks all kinds of weird. Yeah, but that is a scary feeling when, like, your legs and your arms are tired and you're out of breath and you can't feel the bottom of the ocean. Tokens. All right. That is the thing we have to check to see if 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 are something. Whoops. I suppose I should pay better attention. That nah, was too early as crap. That's where we need the slingshot, so we can't actually go in there. But wait a minute. Oh yes, we can get to the scrubs. This is new. Like coming this way through the dungeon. Prioritizing the scrubs. That's something you never do. But every check counts, man. These guys are set to affordable too, so everything's 10 rupees. 
Oh, and I don't have 10 rupees to check the other one. What the heck? Where do you get rupees real fast? From the bush? No. Tell me that there's rupees in this dungeon. Shut up, Navi. I'm just looking for two rupees. I'm two rupees shy from being able to check that other scrub. And we can't go further. Oh, there's a jar. Hang on. Oh, it's gonna be a heart now that I got hurt. Stupid. Come on, Bush. Jar. Oh, thank God for being five rupees instead of just one. We have enough. I swear if this is for a bloopy or a green rupee. What's the other thing we keep finding a lot of? Oh, pieces of heart, yeah. Well, there was already one in this room. What are the chances there would be two? The fairy ocarina, holy crap. Wait, that unlocks the frogs. Okay, on our way to the river. Ooh. That's not how you play the song. Just trying to find the fastest way out of that dungeon I saved and quit twice and started us here and then starting in the forest made me think of this. That was just vanilla game. So actually we can make Darunia dance. That's probably the thing we're closest to. Did you know that New York City is sinking under the weight of its buildings? Dang it! Give me 20 rupees! Oh yeah, it's a stick as a kid, that's right. Well... We can make the thing spin and spend nine years trying to make it land on the right face. Are you kidding me? Another bloopy? Oh, the seed is... Just gutter trash. That ocarina was a cool find, though. Nice buy. Fruit gushers, kid. I'll never forget them. It's really weird that, uh, Microsoft bought Activision. Let's climb the mountain. That's the only thing I can think of.
But yeah, Crash Bandicoot used to be the mascot for PlayStation. And now, uh... Crash is available on all kinds of platforms, like every single one of them. What? And now it's going to be an Xbox exclusive, which is very odd. I don't even know who PlayStation's mascot is these days. Then again, I don't know who's Xbox is either. Well, Master Chief probably still. Maybe that dates you, right? If you think Master Chief is the mascot for Xbox, that just goes to show how old you are. Maybe Nintendo's really the only one that has one in Mario. Some would argue Zelda does better than Mario these days. Alright, Zelda's lullaby. You better be good. Sing a song. There was a Florida man living underwater who refused... Hey, speaking of living underwater... Yeah, he refused to surface even after breaking the world record for how many days he was living underwater. But he refused to surface because it was like for an experiment or something. Mid, mid, Fox, it's hot in here. Take, take. Don't fly too low, your ship can't take it. This baby can take temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. <laughs> Try a somersault. Well, that wasn't worth it. Wait, could you always see the sky from in here? I don't know why that sky box looked totally new to me. We're running out of chews again, man. This had better be something good. Oh my gosh. What is there besides the crater? Well, we can see what's in the house. And the frogs, we still haven't done the frogs yet. Okay, so the house. Cows are off. Because we did cows in the attacking toucan seed, and I just kind of got tired of the cows. Because we checked, like, every single one, and it was junk. And I just kind of didn't feel like doing that again. All right, little froggy friends. The slippy toads of Zora River. What brand new items do you have for us? Garbage. I do like this though. I like that each one of these songs is a check now. Darn it. That's all we have, too. Well, that actually gave us 10 tokens, so we could check what 10 tokens is. And wait a minute, we have Zelda's lullaby. Ha! Ha! Take! 
So all of Zora's domain we can do. Well, aside from diving for the letter... I like that the ocarina sounds like a harp. The harp just sounds good. I found this really good Zelda medley video of a, some girl playing this huge harp. And she did a medley of all kinds of Zelda songs, and it was like... I don't know how many minutes long it was. I want to say like... 8 to 10 minutes? And it was just really good. I'll have to find it. I shared it on some things. But... The title of the video was Japanese. With like a little bit of English in it, so... It's kind of hard to say how to look it up. But I'm sure if you searched for Zelda Medley on Harp, you'll find it. trying to think if Zoro's Domain was... I know the Serenade of Water was played. Alright, the chest behind the waterfall is... No, really? Rudo's the letter in a bottle. What a spot for that. Okay, well that opens up the uh, fountain. Let's see what's in the shop. 50 rupees, is it 10 rupees? Green, oh well, magic is a brownish color. It is 10 rupees. Starting to get a little bit sleepy here. It's very late. It's going for like five in the morning. Oink. It's so weird that the letter was right there. You know, I was playing uh, Rogue Squadron 2 recently. Some of you may have watched that Let's Play. And I found it really weird that Jeff Keighley was credited as like one of the manual writers or something. And now he does the video game awards show. Assuming it's the same guy, anyway, because, like, who, who else has that name? But yeah, that game had Bob Bergen and Rob Paulson in it. remember being kind of astonished to hear Rob Paulson but it just goes to show you when you're a good voice actor they use you for everything man all right well we got the we got enough bomb shoes to at least check the fountain back here the fairy fountain 
We can open Jabu Jabu, but I don't think we can do anything in there. It's like the very first room you need the boomerang or the slingshot for. I could try it anyway, but first let's check this thing back here. You know, I never finished that Hogwarts Legacy game. I don't really have a desire to. It was like a one and done experience. experience. Let's see, we talked about the Spanish woman who lived in a cave for 500 days and got her poop changed every five days. Come on, dude. I guess we could just Clean up the spiders, because uh, I don't know what else to do. I'm really, like, stumped. Let's see, we have... We checked all the shops. That we can. We can't become an adult. I know, Ivy. We did not check back here. Oh, Dompe's out too. Perfect. Is, I swear, the bloopy seed. How many bloopies are in the item pool anyway? Does anybody know that? Oh, jeez. Well, if ever there was a need for a new shop, I'm ready for it now. We can check Sun Song. Take me. me. Oh, wait, I don't have a slingshot. We could use sticks, but it's kind of a waste. Nah, forget it. I, I don't think this is worth it. We could always come back. Let's get that other spider and think along the lines of the 20 reward. There's gotta be something else that I'm not thinking of. Let's see, key sanity is new. What else is new that I don't normally do with these things? The scrubs? Like all of the scrubs? Because I think there's something new with the scrubs. Hi. 
Either that or like a past version you didn't need to do all of them or something? I should look up a checklist of the scrub grottos. Because I don't know... There might be an obscure one I'm not remembering. Well, you know what? There's that one in Lake Hylia. On the way there, we could bomb chew. Yeah, let me do that real quick. I'm going to save, and I'm going to look up on the wiki the location of all the scrub grottos and see if any of them trigger. So I'll... Yeah. I'll be back in a second. Okay. I'm risking this bomb chew for this one. Perfect. Uh, this one I knew about, I just didn't want to waste the bomb chew. But Lake Hylia has one that we can probably do if the owl gets out of the way. Was useless. But yeah, there's three more scrubs in Lake Hylia that are very easy to forget about because you never have to go there. That's like when we, I was playing with attacking toucans, we kept running into the problem of Deku scrubs and cows. Like, I swear we checked every single one possible. Like there's Deku scrubs in Goron City. In the lava room that I forgot completely about until I played with him. Alright, Owl, you need to move. But don't take me with you. So yeah, it's very possible that Goron City Lava Room has something too, but that's as adult like. Alright. After this, I really don't know. Man. The options are just dwindling. I can't believe I didn't open the door of time. I didn't intend to do that. I like being an adult Link and... I don't like being locked as a kid. Wait a minute. We can open the door of time now. Right? We don't need the Ocarina of Time. We just need a Ocarina. An Ocarina, I should say. Hold on, this takes us right there. But wait, no. We gotta play for the frog. That's another frog song. It'd be foolish to not do that. Before I forget, let's go to the frog. Okay, whatever this is, we're becoming an adult next. Because that's huge. And we have some key rings for, like, the Shadow and Water Temple. No way. Brown magic. It's very, like, fox-colored. Well, that's good, too. Alright, please work. I think this works, but... If this doesn't work, I don't know what to do. Like, magic... I was the whole time running to this temple, I was trying to think what magic... Magic doesn't mean anything to us right now, but it works. So, Adult Link stuff. Actually, this would be a good time to take a break. 
since I am getting sleepy, I'm gonna eat something and maybe go to sleep and come back to this tomorrow and just kind of like split it all together. But yeah, we're Star Fox Adventures Fox now. So, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to put the sword away, not down. <laughs> I told you I'm tired. There we go. Apparently you can only have one voice option active at a time. I don't know. But we got Smash Ultimate Fox voice now as Adult Link. Yeah, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to eat some food and get some sleep, I think, and then come back to this. So thank you guys for watching. See you in a bit. Alright, we're back. What a transition that was, huh? I'm assuming I'm going to transition just in and out of the Temple of Time anyway. As if I never left. But leave indeed I did. Uh, big pose, we set that to one, but we have no way of getting a big pose. So, Adult Link. Let's do the first Adult Link stuff you always do in Kakariko. We have the bow already, so we can play the mini game. Uh, Song of Storms check. Anju. I forget where our spiders are at. We'll see as we get going here. It's the problem with taking a break is you kind of get your head out of it a little bit. And then my guess, you just don't know what's going on. But it's all good. We had shrimp scampi. And that was tasty. Anju, what do you have for us? Kohiro! Oh, it's blue, but it ain't no good. Papa never said... What? Papa ain't got no cool. What? Alright, we gotta redeem myself from the attacking toucan seed. I can do this trick, especially when it's going slow. Singing songs like a big dope. Okay, we can't do it apparently. No, we got we got this. This is easy as pie. Pie's not exactly easy though, sometimes. But you know, key lime pie is quite tasty. All right, here we go. Check this out. Watch this. Ready, set. I blame Navi. No, I was just too close to the edge. I needed more of a running, running start. So we got it though, dude. Even with a wonky control stick. There we go! Nothing to it! I was in this room for like 50 years with that attacking toucan seed. I'll never forget the day the ocarina. What? How can it be vanilla? That's weird. Now is the windmill gonna be spazzing? Yeah, I hear it cranking like a demon up there. Uh, I don't want to play this game. Let's go to the graveyard. I really, I, I have to play it. It's just with this control stick, I'm, I don't like the shooting galleries. Uh, the beans are already planted. We know that much. We already pulled the grave for the shield, right? I can't remember, honestly. I have, how do you say, no idea. I'm gonna say yes, because why would I have not checked that already? I don't want to raise Dompe. Take it on faith, Dompe's trash. That might come back to bite us, but I get lucky in these things. Until the day I don't. Today might be that day. I just don't like racing Dompe. I can't do it in under a minute or whatever to get the... I don't know. Especially with control sticks being different every time I play this.
Third time's the charm, I guess. And it was just a nut. Alright, well, let's see what the shops have. This is like Star Fox Adventures 2. I wish they would make a Star Fox Adventures 2. I'd play the crap out of that and then crap some more. That's the lens of truth. And bomb shoes for 99 rupees. And the hover boots. I like this affordable thing. There's no rupee limitations where you're like, oh, look at this amazing thing that I can't get for like five more hours. Wait, how many tokens is that? 18. Oh, we just need two more. Before I buy the bomb shoes, let's see what this other shop has. More tokens. Hey, wait, that's enough to get us to 20. And that rupee might be uh, a steal. It is. It's a 10 rupee profit. So I could buy the bomb shoes. He's got bomb shoes in here. Only five pieces, but the other guy was more expensive, right? Oh well. Just because we don't have a bomb bag yet, we gotta be careful with our bomb chew counts. So now what? Um, we got seven bomb chews. Oh yeah, the spiders. We just got 20 of those. Dang it, wasn't that what the 10 guy gave us too? So now what? We have a song, don't we? Yeah, we have the Bolero of Fire. Frogs, Song of Storms. But we're an adult, so... The bean's planted. Wait a minute. That's a check right there. What happened to Fox's sunglasses? I thought his model had sunglasses. Huh. Weird. Yeah, how much time do we have, exactly? A minute four. Is that enough to beat the fire temple? Iron boots, are you kidding me? Uh, wait, we can check the song. Prelude of Light, oh, I was just thinking we don't have an escape. What? Oh, it's doing that mod loader thing. I gotta reset the whole thing. Crap. Alright. Let's see what's in here. While we wait for nighttime. So we had the lens of truth. I was thinking as I was resetting the whole mod loader stuff. That, uh, there's the treasure chest game. With the Lens of Truth, we could check that, and, uh... Yeah, because it put me back in the Temple of Time, so I was like, I'll become a kid and do that real quick. Holy crap! We have a hammer! Boy, we gotta become an adult again! Why I can never seem to find that grotto anymore. Oh. Life's hard as a re-dead. Cause you're dead again. I do like these fox noises. They make me happy on the inside. Somebody needs to make a Falco one next. Except how would you differentiate child and adult Falco? 
You could do Slippy Toad. Child Slippy Toad would make sense. And then as an adult, just make like this beast frog. Um, we can get the spider on the way up the mountain. I'm just kind of like going and seeing, like based on the location of where we are, seeing what triggers in my brain as we go here. Yeah, we're going Goron City. You're gonna have some fun. It makes me want to play Smash Brawl or Ultimate or whatever. I can picture the feet fighting Rayquaza. Hi, Navi. How are you? Besides annoying as crap. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Oh, oh, hey, wait, double wait. There's scratchy stuff happening. Scritchity, scratchity. Tyler calls them scratchy boys. It's a good name for them. Sing a song, sing a song. I wish it would played in the harp form. If only it was the harp of time instead of ocarina of time. And maybe Sheik could play the ocarina. Eh, crud. Cockle doodle doo, right on time. Uh, I guess we could try for the spider. Yeah! That was cool. What is this instrument again? That, that makes the Goron squeaks? Oh, we suck at everything we do. Okay, we gotta stop Johnny Jr. here. How you guys doing today, anyway? Are you singing songs? I don't know what that means. It's just something I say all the time. Does the hammer work? I don't remember. Where is this chum? Okay, finally got it. I'm gonna try to think of ways to speed this up for your sake, since this is like the 900th million one we've done. Ooh, Goron Tunic. Wait, that's real though, isn't it? Yeah, it's 200 rupees. Crap. Well, where's the free one? That would change things right over here. We don't have the hook shot, but we can check the fairy thingy. I could keep grinding this pot and then go buy the Goron tunic. That's actually not a bad idea, but... We know there's a free one out there, so... We might as well carry on, my wayward son. Under a minute to go, is that enough to... That's... How much time do you need to beat the dragon? A minute plus a fairy? Oh, what kind of a garbage great fairy are you? Let's do it. Let's do a little bit of Fire Temple stuff. We can always bottle the fairy and press on a little deeper. A minute and four. 
How did that ice trap not hurt me? It was like the great fairy healed me and I got hurt at the same time. It was weird. All right, well, we have the hammer already, so might as well do this bottom room first. Ah, oh, we have no keys. Crap. Wait, which temples did we find the key rings for again? Shadow and water, I think? I should have wrote that down now that I've taken a break. Oh, crap, we need to get that fairy. Oh, we don't have the hook shot. That's a problem. Oh, this is not good. So really, coming in here was stupid. We can't check anything except for this one chest. I mean, it could be something. That would be crazy if it is. We could beat the dragon. Wait a minute, we can actually get the fairy. Holy crap, is it actually expecting me to do this? I gotta be fast, man. I gotta get this fairy fast and get in that boss door so the timer resets. Stupid fish. Annoying bird. I am the great Leon. Hurry up. Probably take off the butter shoes, but we need the butter shoes. Okay, we got a fairy in a bottle. I guess we're doing this. Can I make it in time? Okay, that should reset the timer. Then we have the fairy to reset it again. 50 seconds. That's not good enough. But the fairy will be a full heal, so it'd be like, it's like a minute and 50 seconds. I'd be good with that bow, too. With attacking toucans, he had to do this last time, so now it's my turn. Now it's my turn. I need a Wolverine clip. I should find that. Ah well, if I don't, good luck getting that reference. This is doomsday is approaching. Fox death noises. How much time do we have to sit through this nonsense? A minute and four. All right, just stop. I know I can't make you stop, but I wish I could fast forward your animations. I really don't know about this. Don't mess this up either, okay? Oh! Well, we're fine then. I thought we had to sit through two cycles. Maybe the arrows actually helped. I don't even know, it was, I don't think I checked the pedestal of time to see which ones have the medallions and which are spiritual stones. So what do we get here? Yep, 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 yep. 
Shadow medallion. That doesn't change anything, I don't think. Because Rainbow Bridge is all medallions. There's Deku scrubs in here. Crap, where are they? I don't remember. I just looked at that wiki last time, remember? I said I was going to look up the checklist of grottos. Or Deku scrub grottos. Is it here? Or is it over there? Or is this just for rupees? Song of Storms? I don't remember, but I know that this crater has scrubs. Could look it up again real quick, I guess. But I kind of don't feel like pulling up all that nonsense. Oh, jeez, we might be dead. Wait a minute, maybe they're by the gossip stone. Ooh, barely made it. not under here, are they? No. I thought they were under a rock. But it wasn't a rock. Give up the patio! You're living in your own private Idaho. How does that not work? Annoying hammer. I'm not wasting a bomb chew on that. It's just a gossip stone. I don't know where the scrubs are. What the heck? You guys are probably screaming at me. I hope that they don't have something, but they might. Maybe when I take a break again, I'll check that checklist. What? Why? Because of the shadow medallion? And the fact that I have spirit already? Is that the light arrow check, really? Weird. <laughs> yum, yum, yeah. Man, that Nehru's love, I can't get over how random that was. I do like these beans already planted business. It's kind of a fun fast forward. But yeah, I figured we'll do, like, Ice Cavern and stuff, because the king, it occurred to me the king is moved. Remember, we moved him as a kid so we can get to the fountain and do Ice Cavern and stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have Ice Arrows, which is a cool speed-up they added now. That's the boomerang, dude! Jabu Jabu's belly? Wait, can we? Without the slingshot, you don't need the slingshot to do it, you just need the boomerang. And some sticks. I think Jabu Jabu is next. Uh, this is a scratchy boy token. As attacking toucans would say. Didn't we just pick up a token? Alright, we gotta play the blue fire games with one bottle. It's a kind of annoying. But there is a speed up now with ice arrows. If you have ice arrows and magic to use them, the ice arrows count as blue fire, and you can just shoot all the blue fire things with ice arrows. And that's so cool. We we did it in that seed with attacking toucans. But, I guess even enabling that, there's this possibility that the ice cavern could have something, like the ice cavern, ice cavern could have ice arrows. 
which would really suck if that ultimate speed up is locked behind the thing that it speeds up. I don't care about a bloopy. We can't get the spiders in here, though. Where the heck is the hook shot? Another token. All right, we're done with this place. Let's go. Two checks here. And let us not forget the awesome wallpaper. Nocturne of Shadow. That's the Shadow Temple. Although we don't have Din's Fire. But we know Din's fire's in the forest temple from that gossip stone. I've come back to life and I give you silver gauntlets, really? Wait, did that also give me sunglasses? <laughs> is that really what this model is tied to? That's weird. The gauntlets are sunglasses. Who would have thought? Now what? Become a kid? We were, we were thinking of Jabu Jabu, right? Uh... Okay, on my way to Jabu Jabu, uh... It occurred to me we have yet to play the Song of Storms for the froggies. Be a game changer. Nope, but we're closer to 30. We definitely don't have any other songs, right? No. We already played those ones. Okay, Jabu Jabu's belly then. I'll see you there. Washcloth! I know she says what's up, but it sounds like washcloth sometimes. Ah, oh boy, what do we talk about? What do we do? We, we could talk about nothing and just speed this up as fast as possible because we've seen it a hundred times. I don't really have any stories at the moment. All of our taxis are busy at the moment. Time Splitters 2, man. I gotta redo Time Splitters 2. That Let's Play is so blurry. Back when I had that very first AV to HDMI thing that I bought. Like every three to five minutes it would flicker. Wait, maybe we do need the slingshot for this. Isn't there that room where we have to kill these flying things? Green Rupee, get out of town with your nonsense. Wait, I want a bottle of fairy. We don't need the fish, apparently. Because, uh, when I opened it before, just to see if we could do this, apparently that counts as permanently opening it. Loud motorcycle going by. Maybe one day my videos won't have cars in the background. Maybe. But we do live in an overpopulated world. Anyway... Now we gotta wait on a platform, right? Stop it! Oh, we're locking on to the wrong things, being a dope. Yeah, I got nothing, man. If this is the platform, I'll just speed it up for your sake.
Back, crud. All right, does the boomerang work? Please, it should, right? The boomerang always does what the slingshot can do. No. Stick. Oh, we're gonna have to leave and go grind sticks then. But at least it works. There's a boss shuffler thing I almost enabled too. So like, for instance, Baronade's boss room could not be Baronade. And you can have it so Child Link has to fight Bongo Bongo or something like that. Crud. But yeah, I didn't enable. I almost did. That was another one I was hovering over with my mouse. That and Pot Sanity I almost clicked on. But I said, no, nah, we'll just go with Key Sanity this time. And see how that goes. Good thing for the boomerang. R2, that stabilizer's broken loose again. See if you can't lock it down. Time in the fire, but we've already achieved that goal. We have the Zora tunic, so underwater doesn't matter. Is this the bubble haven? Yeah, okay. This could be something, too. Washcloth, hey. What do you think these are bubbles of? Soap? Because they're very rainbowy. I guess bubbles are just rainbowy to begin with. Like when you buy bubbles to blow. The hook shot! Yes! Now we're cooking with gas. Well, that's a bunch of crap. Can I hit this with the boomerang? Yes, I can. And good... Good riddance. I almost got burned. Well, those spiders were a huge letdown. Forest medallion. Wait, that's a check. We gotta beat Baronade, man. I gotta go get those sticks, though. At least the sticks are right there in Zora's Domain. Yeah, Forest Medallion is, uh, Prelude of Light. Prelude, Prelude of Light! Oh, we gotta beat Wishy Washy Jr. here. Kia and Octopus. What scream starts with the letter K? Sweet! First try. I know there's like another way to do this guy, but uh... I don't know. That's the way I know how to do it. Okay, the rest of this temple is stupid until the end, right? And I gotta get sticks. Alright, Spider Boy, what you got for me? You're gonna have the long shot, both of them in Jabu Jabu's belly. No, you're just a token. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. 
what's that on the secret plans? It looks like some sort of secret backwards message. Oh no, it's just a coffee stain. <laughs> I love that game. Day of the Tentacle, man. Alright, well we got the sticks. I did all the grinding and the doping. Now we gotta do the marinating. I'll marinate you in sticks. I feel like I haven't fought this guy in nine years. Wait a minute, I'm doing something wrong. I'm wasting sticks. I'm wasting sticks. Stop it. That's right, you gotta, uh... Oh, dude, I hope I have enough sticks still. That's right, you use the boomerang first, and then you use the sticks when he's in this phase. Why do I want to say that I need eight sticks? It's a pool full of strangers. Beware of the bottomless, bottomless blue, blue. The bottomless blue. Kopiaka pudding. Oh man, we got a little cameo from Young Link. This <laughs> is so stupid. Yeah, we got this. It's got to be just like one more. I don't know why I'm getting hit left and right, but I don't know. Yeah, swell up and blow up. There's a line on the wall and a hole in the bucket. Deer lies. Wait, what is that? That's the Minuet of Forest. We gotta do the Forest Temple, man. We got the hook shot, and uh, we know Din's fire is in the Forest Temple. And that song just basically pointed us in that direction. And the Forest Medallion, we gotta check the Prelude. Prelude of Light. Well, we should probably get a stick, just in case we need sticks again. Because we still don't have that sword. Well, that was a good decision to do Jabu Jabu. I feel like we got a lot in there. Well, the hookshot feels like a lot. The Minuet of Forest... I guess doesn't really matter that much, but it's nice to have. for more shrimp scampi. It might be time to uh, switch the voices here. Oh yeah. We can take a break again at the Temple of Time. This is this is like our break room, the Temple of Time. After all, he spent seven years here eating hamburger helper or something. I don't know what he's doing. Hot pockets. Is there a microwave in the Temple of Time? There should be. Yeah, sunglasses and blue gauntlets. Ah, it's 50 rupees. That's junk. All right, well, Forest Temple seems like the next big thing. We got the hook shot now so that we can get spiders and stuff. Uh, but I'm going to take a break again, and we will do the Forest Temple in a little bit. 
All right, a little change of plans. Before the forest temple, let's spend our full 200 rupees on this Goron tuna, because I don't know where the free one is. It's blue? Yeah, another blue looking one. All right, well, I have a plan. First, let's go get these Death Mountain Crater scrubs that were bugging me. I looked up where they were, and I had a little snack. And, uh... This actually works out perfect because there's this pot here with 20 rupees. So we can grind up to what we need, which... Actually, I don't know if it's a grotto of two or three. We could need upwards of 60 rupees to do what I have planned here. But yeah, that won't take long. Might as well go up to 80, too, at that rate. Just so we have a little bit of excess... Beyond the spending cash. That's just how my brain thinks. I don't know. It's weird. But yeah, when I played with Tyler on Attacking Toucan's channel, we had such a hard time with the Goron City Scrubs, and I forgot about those ones too. So there's these ones that I was looking for. This will clear out the crater, except for the fire temple. Right, well, better to check than to not. Ow. So much for the three rupee payback. What? Oh, oh. Keys for the Spirit Temple. And a bundle of arrows. That's right, I didn't even think about that. The combination of Scrub Sanity and Key Sanity together, that's... Those scrubs are way more important than you think with key sanity on. So let's go get some more. Um, I don't think there's a stick in the pot as adult Link, right? It's only as a kid. Eh, whatever. But yeah, uh, to the... Shut up, Navi. Nobody cares what you have to say. Listen. Yeah, here's the entrance, and t if you turn right at the entrance, you come here to the lava room. And me and Tyler, first we tried to hook shot over to it without the Song of Time. You don't need the Song of Time, but you need the Goron tunic. It's like, then we got the hover boots and we tried that and it didn't work. And eventually we got the Goron tunic and we're like, that's how you hook shot it while standing in the lava. So that was the reasoning for buying the Goron tunic, was to check these guys. Bomb chews. We still need those, so I guess that's good. Hey! Well, that's another check before the forest temple. And we can grab a spider on the way, too. I don't think gold gauntlets mean anything else besides the great fairy at Ganon's castle. And the trial in Ganon's castle. But that's for later when we have the rainbow bridge. Oh man, I'm drawing a blank. I don't really have uh, 
too much to talk about this time. I think it's because I'm in a better mood than I usually am when I do these things. Oh hey, that's 30. I didn't realize we were that close to 30 already. Okay, that's another check we could do before the forest temple then. We have the graveyard song. I like that they removed the animation, but I miss it at the same time. I don't know, it was just always neat seeing Link chuck the rock and then have it just like pause for eight years. 20 sticks? A little bit late for that, but... Let's check those spider house guys. And uh, then we'll go to the forest temple. Since we just got that song in Jabu Jabu's belly. Wait a second. Can we do this as a gold link? I don't see why not. It's the same. Yeah, let's check this. We don't have Din's fire to light the torches or fire arrows. So we can't get the chest, but we can at least see what the song is. Yeah, I don't know, man. There is something weird about it. Like, when you're in a happy mood, there's less to drone on about. It's like a weird side effect of being happy that I'm not used to. Man, nuts. We already have one of those on our back. But I don't know, though. When they say, like, misery loves company... Are they kind of talking about that in a sense, too? Where, like... When you're miserable, you just have so much to think about and talk about and complain about. But when you're happy, it's just like carefree bubbles. The windmill's still going nuts. Phone's ringing, dude. Anyway, let's get this 30 check and stop being weird. You know what's weird? Sting's glasses in the music video for Can't Stand Losing You. He wears these big, like, super big, weird-looking 80s glasses. And I think he's doing it on purpose. Because in, in no other music video is he wearing glasses. Dang it, you kids are useless. But yeah, you should look that up. Can't Stand Losing You by the police. Wait a minute, we have a hookshot in Kakariko Village. Before we play the song. This is just a hop, skip, and a jump away to victory. Sweet, sweet victory. Light arrows, here we go. Nope. Same as it ever was. Alright, let's play that song. Sing a song, sing a song, sing a song. All right, shut up. What? Oh, yeah, the minuet itself. Okay, we have more arrows now. Okay, Forest Temple, we don't have keys for it, do we? No, we do not. Maybe they're in here. There's a few things we can grab without keys. Man, it would be cool to do another plandomizer for this and incorporate key sanity with it. 
Why? How do you miss? Like, remember that back to the past plan demiser I did? Where the whole point was you started as Adult Link and did pretty much like everything you possibly could in order to get back to being a child and then you just found the Triforce pieces as a child. That was fun to do, man, to think about it and stuff. 200 roops. Alright, control stick. and gutter trash all of a sudden. But it's not over yet. Actually, it might be. Don't we need a small key to go into the back room? Well, no, there's the well outside. I think we can get all the way to the well. But what about this back room? Oh, it's just a door. And there's the spider. That's right, this is the first small key, is it? Well, actually, no, the one outside is the first small key, but this... I don't know why I'm not using Big Oron Sword, but whatever. Son, how's it taste? Tastes like bones and metal clanking together. That must have been from the frogs. Wait. Oh, we already have a fairy in a bottle, baby. Gotta rub me the right way, honey. <laughs> I shouldn't have actually sang it that like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. She calls me from the phone just when I was alone. Feeling short of stable. Lavender and cream. Fills a bed of lies. Reality is hateful. She says that love is for fools who fall behind. But I'm somewhere between. I never really know a killer from a scene. <laughs> Till I break at the bend. Here and now, will we ever be again? Cause I've found all that shimmers in this world is sure to fade away again. That's a good song, though, actually, by Fuel. Shimmer. I don't know why, but just like as I'm strolling about, it always pops into my head. Just that part where it goes, she calls me from the phone just when I was lone, feeling short of stable, lavender and cream. Fills a bit of lies, reality escapes her. <laughs> I know I just said it, but I said it twice. You can't say it twice. We did. Why is the brain designed to torture itself? Vitamins, diet, exercise, you know it's true, but you can't. Introducing motivation. Such an aggravation. The continuation of any life seems incredible. I'm just reading post-it notes. 
that are around my computer. Let's see what else we got posted around here. Excuse me, sir. Um... You need a motivating factor. As you get older, the factors diminish greatly. I don't know if that's true. Was I ranting about that in some past video? Hey, blue fire arrows. This is a cool arrow, man, you can use on red eyes. Too bad we already did the ice cavern. Man, that post-it note's depressing. It says in big capital letters, becomes just existing to prolong the stalemate. Hey, there's Din's fire. That's right, we, it did say it was in here. From that stone outside. Well, I think we're stuck now. What do we have? We have six keys for the water temple. Water temple is on the way of the hero, the stone said. Maybe we should head to Lake Hylia. Lavender and cream. Shut up! You can't say it three times! What a bunch of junk! I'm gonna go fishing. You gotta just take it in, you know? Man, I had some good seafood when I was in Alabama. You wouldn't think, but there's a Gulf Coast there, so at the same time, you would think. But yeah, I had some nice lobster tail and some really good shrimp, and this one place had redfish as a special, and I don't know what seasoning they put on it, but it was really good. And then there was another place that just said grilled fish. It didn't specify what it was, but that was good too. That, on the other hand, is trash. All right, time for the water temple. So there's hope. Oh, well, there's no hope for this control stick. Let's see, what other post-it notes do I have around here? Which way down the river past the Merlin trial? What? Oh, that must have been when I was playing Hogwarts Legacy way back when. The Merlin trials were like Korok puzzles in that game. You know how they say blue is the color of sadness? What's the color of happiness? Is it like bright yellow or something? Because I can't really think of anything more fitting than that. 
because white is like purity and stuff. Black is the color of the devil. No, I don't know. It's something. Crap, dude. I like all these fox noises. Hey, Navi. Fire. I forgot that he says fire. That up B from Smash Bros. Let's see, how can we speed up the water temple? Ooh! That's interesting. Wait, can we get over there? We don't have the long shot yet. We don't have Epona. I think that's just for later then. One of these times I want to do an experiment where like we don't even show the dungeon. We just go from like treasure to treasure. I could change my commentary style to fit the situation. I'm not really saying much of anything good anyway. Lavender and cream, shut up. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna sing it again. Sing? That was singing? Yeah, screw it. Let's rapid fire this thing, man. So this spider is... Double magic. All right. See you at the next treasure. It's about time this control stick cooperated. Co cooperate, cooperation. Epona! Weren't we just talking about Epona? So we can get to the Gerudo area now. Alright, we're approaching another treasure. See what it is, and be on our way. Garbage. <laughs> Treasure chest Bobby Jr. is... Bobby Bullcrap. Compass Charles is... Nuts! Alright, maybe we should actually, like, leave something in here. I still don't know what to talk about, though. Have you ever stood up while playing a video game? That's interesting. That's very interesting, man. Yeah. Dark Link. Hiding by the big tree.
Hook Hawk. How come you're not Fox McCloud? <laughs> that scream every time, man. It's just funny. Funny ha-ha. Or funny weird. You know what's funny? Getting 50 rubies when you have a full wall. Trash! Nothing but trash! Wait! Hookshot McGee! Wait, can the hookshot even reach? Because we technically are supposed to have the long shot right now. Yeah, it can reach. Oh, barely made it. Oh! I think we're stuck now. Without the long shot, we can't do anything else in this dungeon. Yeah. Tonight's the night that we got the truck. We're going downtown, gonna beat up drunks. You'll do the drive, I'll bring the beer. It's late night shift, no one to fear and ride. Ride how we ride. Do 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 do. Because we're riding Epona in Gerudo Valley. I don't know. Not a police truck by Dead Kennedys. Although I do really like that song. Nuts. At least we can take this base out. Or no, is this boss out? That's what he says. How did he get the peppy hair quote wrong? And what I mean is at least we can add to the spider count. See what's down the hole. What could it be, my friend? Doesn't that just make you feel awfully blue, P? I guess we could take Epona and do the archery. Um, well, actually, we could save the carpenters and do the Gerudo training grounds. Which order to tackle that in? Like, I guess the order they appear. So go in the first door and start saving the carpenters. Yeah, I'll meet you. I'll do that, and I'll meet you in the Gerudo training grounds, because you don't really need to see me saving the carpenters. I'll save, like, half of them and then go in the thing. Okay, let's hit the eye switch. Let's see what we can find in this place. Cap out the wallet, apparently. And... More crap. Oh wait, we have no keys for this place. Oh yeah, but that doesn't matter for the actual trials. Still no bomb bag. 
Wasting these bomb chews every two seconds. Maybe this is the bomb bag. That would be kind of fitting. No! Oh, we just left the water temple, man. It can be so angry. No, that's all right. Better to have that than to not. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll play the song. It'll get us up there to see what the items are in the two chests. Too slow. Okay, we're good. We're fine. Oh, yeah, that's just to open that door. I don't even really feel like doing that door, but I guess we have to. We gotta do all of it. Can't just suddenly start getting picky and choosy. Hey, the giant's wallet. Nice. Oh no, it's one of those fake ones, okay. Two pieces of heart. And... Garbage. I was hoping for a second for the key ring to this place. Because that would have been amazing. Yeah, not too long ago, I got a comment on uh, one of those vlog videos I randomly did. It was the one where I was like, thoughts of a 35-year-old when I was like, just turning 35. And it was all like super depressing commentary about something. Mostly about turning 35, I guess. But yeah, the recent comments seemed kind of like angry with me. So I'm thinking about deleting that video. I wonder if I should delete everything that is related to being all depressed and crap. Because however long YouTube's gonna be around, that stuff's up there. Hey! That doesn't change a thing. I don't wanna do this place. I don't know, I'm feeling kind of tired. Don't want to be here. Alright, the carpenter reward is a red rupee. That is stupid. Shadow Temple? Is it time? The only thing we have keys for. I don't really have much to talk about though, so let's rapid fire it again. Yeah, that's a plan. We'll rapid fire this dungeon, take a break, 
and then come back with fresh commentary. Sounds like a plan. Let's do this a whole new way. I've never done it before. And just go from treasure to treasure. Nothing but crap, man. Shaking my head. There's the bomb bag. What a fitting place to grab it, too, right by this Bemo statue. And the wall that I need to blow up. Probably. No, the fairy slingshot. That means the Deku tree. And the token, alright. Bongo, bongo, boss key. Let's see what else is in this room. This room's full of treasure, actually. Well, it's full of crap, is what it is. I could use a heart container or something. I didn't realize how low my hearts are right now. Nut capacity. That's what I needed. Uh, this room... Is this the three pots or the one? This is the one with the spider. Hey! Bomb bags in one place? You can't do that. Well, I mean, I guess it just did. Oh, yeah, this one has the bomb chest. I feel like we're gonna be finding a lot of crap now because we have a decent handful of stuff. But we still need light arrows, we still need mirror shield. Yeah, there's nut bags out there. I mean, the bomb bag was a good find, I guess. Yeah. 
This place is the dumps. I used to like this temple, but I don't know. Like this one, I don't want to mess with these three pots. You don't have to, right? Or is it a small key? I can't remember. I just know the spider. Yeah, I'm not bothered. Thirty-six, getting closer. I died on Bongo Bongo, man. Had to use a fairy. I can't believe it. So there we go, that was an experiment of not commentating during a Zelda dungeon for the first time and just kind of like going treasure to treasure. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but yeah. So it feels like break time. Because I'm tired and don't really have much to say. Water medallion. Oh yeah, we gotta go finish that up. Let's do that real fast. Stupid boulder, man. <laughs> I should have waited. The impatience. It's funny how you try to go quick and it makes you go way slower in the end of all things. The block room doesn't have anything, does it? We're going backwards. Okay. Like, I know the boss key, that's what I'm going for. But I really don't want to open that other door and go do all that stuff with the block and everything. There are still treasures in this place, though. Namely, that second level long shot thing. Hey, what do you know? Boss key's where it belonged. Let's go take the thing out. So far, so good. Come on, quick kill. Get to the corner. Switch places. Yeah, that's a good way to end things off. I didn't get all the treasures in this place, though. I wonder if that's gonna come back to bite me I mean that one is quick you just got to get to the second level water and I switch it so if I have to come back and do that it's not a good idea to be tired while you're playing and looking at this stuff and be like, yeah, I don't want to do that. But that's the song, man. What song is that? It looked goldenish. Uh 
Ah. Okay. We do have the keys for that temple. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about the spirit temple. That's a whole thing still left to do. Now, that was for the Gorons, Ruby. That was a waste. We found some good stuff, though. It did say it was in, on the way of the hero with that gossip stone. And this could be something, too, in the lake, son. Is a rupee? Yeah. Not fussed about that. That's from the frogs, I think. All these 50s. Anyway, I think it's about bedtime for me, so I will pick this up and add it on to the video. So we're gonna do a one giant video again, I think. Um, yeah, so I will see you in a little bit. Making decent progress. Just missing the lake warp song and sun song. Hey, good morning, you guys. Welcome back. If you took a break like I did, we got the slingshot, and that means this. I was just thinking about stuff we picked up last time. We got the Requiem of Spirit, but we got the slingshot in the temple, so we might as well do the Deku Tree. That was stupid. Um, I do know that the Ocarina Memory game, I think I excluded that. Because I don't like to do that, so I think I actually added that to the excluded menu. We got the Kakiri Sword in the Shadow Temple last time. So, we are all ready to go, man. This is a medallion that we need, so we might as well do it. But actually, real quick, we have a full wallet. Are there bomb chews in here? There are. 180 rupees, but for 20, though. What else are we gonna spend it on? Talking about, I don't wanna spend my rupees. We're going to the, the Deku Tree, man. You know, I used to hate the Deku Tree, but as I get older, I appreciate it. Because the Kakiri Forest is just such a... It's like the outset island of this game. Or rather, outset island is like the Kakiri Forest. Point being, it's just that first nostalgia-packed area. I don't think they need to remake this game. I know they always talk about it, but... There's something about it being N64 chunky. That just makes it, like... The fact that we can play this in one sitting... That's pretty cool. Like, if you get too much bigger than this, you can't really do it in one sitting anymore. And Wind Waker and Twilight Princess attest to that. But N64, it's like, it's just right. Oh, we're clunking. Topiak! What is Topiaka pudding, anyway? Tapioca, that's what it is. Tapioca! Topiaka. Thanks, Fox. Doesn't it just mean there's rice bits in there or something? Or is that rice pudding? Yeah, getting our money back. See, that's why we buy things, because we know that if you live another day, you make another paycheck. I wonder if there's a recovery heart equivalent in real life. Maybe vitamins or something? 
Like, there's no way of knowing for sure if something you ingest is going to prolong your life a little bit. The only thing that's certain is that every second that ticks by is one step closer to death. So really, like, life is the opposite of a recovery heart. And that's some deep crap. Oh, this room's for poops. A nut. A nut is ringing. There's an animal in trouble. It'll be right there. That just goes to show you what age I was when my sister had her kids. Singing the Wonder Pets song. Truly and dearly, if I had my own kids, they would have watched the Wonder Pets too. Because that's when I would have had them. But I do not have kids. I don't know if I ever will. Because there gets to be a point where it's just too late, you know? You're all like old and decrepit, can't take care of yourself, let alone someone else. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Also, just the ways of life. You know, between Star Wars and Star Trek, like, which, which ship you would rather live on? I think Star Trek has it beat, because they have that computer that makes milkshakes and stuff. I don't know if Star Wars has anything like that. Alright, Queenie Goma. You're gonna get a stick to the face. Topia, come too slow. What if when you die, you have to play Ocarina of Time and prove your worth? In order to gain access to heaven, and heaven is just like, play video games all day, and it never gets boring. That's what I think, so that's where my heaven's gonna go. <laughs> so stupid. That would be an awesome thing, though. Every now and then, go to the beach. But for the most part, just play video games with your friends in the basement and eat Doritos. That's heaven, man. The light medallion, see? We see the light. Uh, the Requiem of Spirit we got. So let's get ready for those fire bats. This was our very last pickup at the, uh, before the last break. Why is the Gerudo Valley song so good? It has no right to be. But I love it for being as good as it is. Alright, Spirit Temple as a kid, there's only two rooms that Kid Link can access that Adult Link cannot, if you do it right. But we might as well stick to being a kid, we're here. So what do we want to talk about in our dungeon adventures this time? Or do we want to do that fast forward business again? No, we probably shouldn't do too much of that. Because now we're breaking tradition. And being a dope.
I'm a little more awake this time anyway, so chances are I could think of something to talk about. Rather than before when I was just like, mm. Let's see what Compass Charles is. The Compass Charles. Look, why do you call it that? Stalfos, Stalfos, everybody, Stalfos. That little girl who says that in the Lost Woods, she's like one of those like creepy demon childs. Children. Listen, sir. This sword sucks. Yeah, go down the hole. Now, I don't remember how to do this with the boomerang anymore. I always do this now, ever since I learned this trick. Inch on over and then nut it. Or Deku Seed, I guess. A seed is different than a nut. Man, the Link to the Past Dark World Dungeon 3 nuts. Remember I talked about that in my Link to the Past? Either vanilla playthrough or a randomizer I did. I ate these like pine nut things with my dad back in the day when we were in that dungeon. And so forever when I see dungeon, Dark World Dungeon 3 of A Link to the Past, I get the taste of those nuts in my mouth. I know that's a sentence for you, and you can use it however you want, but it's true. And I don't know what nuts they were, like pine nuts or like... Oh! My toesies! They were like little green diamond-shaped things almost. Not pistachios, because pistachios are a whole thing of delicious themselves. But like a really tiny seed that was already de-shelled for you in a little plastic container. I don't know. I'll have to go to the store and ponder the nuts section and be like, which one of these is from A Link to the Past? And they'd be like, excuse me. <laughs> I hate it when you have a disassociated memory that like is of no use to anything. Because that is ultimately what I want to ask them, is what is the Link to the Past Dungeon 3 nut? But nobody on this planet knows what I mean. Not even my dad probably remembers that. It is my own thing. But I could go for a handful of those things, mm-hmm. Nice and tasty. Yeah, I get it why people like these randomizers, because it's just me talking about stuff, man. And I do that in all my videos, but it's just, I guess, the given... Hey, good thing. Hey, wait, wow, that's, that's dirty. Putting the boss key in one of the rooms only Kid Link can do. That's like plandomizer level craftiness. Or at least if one were to plandomize specifics around child and adult exclusive stuff, the way I did in that one plandomizer I created. What was I saying besides nuts? I, I had something that I was just about to start and I lost it. So yeah, like all this stuff we could do as adult link and it's probably easier, but... You don't have to ever open this locked door. In a randomizer anyway. Oh yeah, that's what I was getting at. I tell stories and talk about stuff all the time in my Let's Plays. But I get it that in these Zelda ones, it's almost like you don't have to think about the game or explain the game. 
or do anything because like who cares like i don't have to be like oh if you shoot this spider by the way you get a token oh wow you actually do get a token too that's weird Like, we can sit here and not say a word about this game, and it'd be okay because it's already been played. Play it again, son. So whereas I do a brand new Let's Play of a game I haven't covered yet, I always have to talk about the game. And I can't just lounge back and tell my stories about nuts and dungeons and stuff. And maybe that's what people tune in for, I don't know. It's a never-ending riddle. How to do the YouTube thing. I do wish my other Let's Plays got more traffic, though. The Zelda randomizer stuff is a curse. I'm feeling good about this one, though. I think this one's gonna come together nicely. First happy one in a long time. Not counting the attacking toucans one, because that was happy, too. It was just co-op. Ota. Ota ka. L-A-A-A-M-A-N-Y-O-P-E-K-U. Oh, this room is also for dopes. I'll speed it up for your sake. How about that? An empty bottle. Okay. And Spider Jr. is... Light arrows. End of the game. Nope. 50 roops. Roops, there it is. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I say most of the things that come out of my orifice. Hey man, I was giving you Topiaka pudding. All right, well, do we not remember how to fight an iron knuckle? What is this? Give me some hearts. Uh... I don't know what to tell you right now. Come on, man, go down. You're making me nervous over here. Jeez, that was a fight. Time Splitters 2, man. I don't know why I'm thinking about that Let's Play. As I did mention not too long ago in this video, I think, that I want to redo it. Hmm. All right, adult link time. We're one medallion away, and I think it's in here. Let's do the desert stuff before we finish up the spirit temple. There's the scrubs down here. The heck? Falling into the skybox. Ew. 
Gotta do the great fairy, the spider. Well, the spider's gonna be a spider, but we could do it. Unless nighttime is far away or something. That one gossip zone said there was a heart container in the desert colossus. So maybe that's what the piece of heart is. Unless it's in here. I don't know if this counts as the Desert Colossus. Sing a song. Sing a song. Okay. At some point that gets really old. Oh, we gotta fix it. It broke. Oh, jeez. Okay, I gotta reset the whole thing. All right, I don't know why it does that with Mod Loader 64, but I would take that over the thing locking up on Project 64. Uh, let's do the bean stuff. It's about to be spider time. What was that? Hi, Navi. How are you? That's so nice. We're close to 40, but we know 40 is a wallet because I was looking back at that footage and uh, we talked to a gossip stone that said 40 gold, gold spokesles was a wallet. Over in Kakiri Forest, it said that. Eight dollars says this is the heart container of the other gossip stone. Yeah, it is. There it is. And where's my eight bucks? You know what's one of the most nerve-wracking things? Needing cash on you when you need to call a cab. Please don't do that glitch again. Feels like one of the ones that might do it. No? Okay, we're all uh, save just in case. At least it gives you the option to save when it starts doing that repeat glitch. But yeah, that happened to Tyler and I. Actually, no, the appropriate way to say that is Tyler and me. I'll never forget that English lesson. When you say such and such and I, it's either and I or and me, and you use the one that makes sense if the other subject wasn't there. So for example, if you say, Tyler and I like to read, that makes sense because the sentence I like to read makes sense as opposed to me like to read. <laughs> Unless you're Kevin from the office. But whatever sentence I just said, me was... worked better than I. I don't know, it's already gone. So I don't know after this one when the next time I'm gonna do... Right now I'm feeling Ocarina of Time way more... Like I'm still burnt out on Majora's Mask. I don't really want to do a Majora's Mask randomizer even though I'm known for it. I feel like I've done 1200 of them. I think I've done 12. Which is the same as what I just said. But yeah, Ocarina of Time just feels more like a buttered muffin, you know? It's just, you got both sides of the sandwich and the middle is perfect ratio. 
Hey, speaking of sandwiches, have some beans. What's the point of the beans when they're already planted? Just to chomp on them? I would chomp on a magic bean, it looks tasty. Probably like a sugar snap pea, and those things are delicious. I guess there's the Twilight Princess randomizer. I do want to play Twilight Princess again. I, just like everybody else, I'm hoping that they eventually bring it to Switch or something, or like the Switch 2. Because if the Switch has, Switch 2 has backwards compatibility, which you would hope. That makes a lot of games available on the Switch 2. If they were to release Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD or something. Although I guess that would be kind of an evil decision to put it exclusive to the Switch 2 instead of the Switch. And like the bulk of the people in the world right now have a switch. That's a crazy concept. The fact that a little electronic device can be mass marketed and like people have the same type of thing all over the world. That's weird. The claim check. That is a check if we remember to go to Big Goron. To use that 40 Sculptula wallet, I guess. So, yeah. No sense reading the post it notes all around. We did that when we were. Fishing for commentary before. We could talk about Let's Plays. Speaking of wanting to redo Twilight Princess and uh, Time Splitters 2. I don't know, I go through phases where I just really like to play other games. There's 40. I'm really curious about checking out that Starfield game when it comes out. I'm gonna buy it for my dad, I think. And, uh... See if in his retirement he can enjoy this space travel video game. But I want to play it myself, too. Knowing my dad, he'll be like, Why did you buy this for me? You keep it. And I don't know. Maybe when you get older, the enjoyment that other people have is more enjoyable to you than your own enjoyment. You start to live vicariously through others or something. But that would make me feel like crap if I purposely bought a retirement gift for my dad and then he was like, well, you keep it. Not the fact that he said it, just the fact that I'd be like powerless to say anything else but okay and then all of a sudden I have the gift that I was supposed to buy for like it's like buying a gift for yourself but sometimes my dad surprises me and he might be like oh well thanks and be really fascinated by it and plus I could try to sell him on it because my dad likes space stuff and that Starfield game looks pretty cool. What? Oh, hover boots. I didn't know you could press the D-pad to bring up that menu, too. Now, wait a second. Without fire arrows, this is weird. How are you supposed to use the switch?
There's gotta be a way to dense fire them and just be done with it. I seem to recall doing stuff like that. Yeah, this should be good. Equidistance. The wobbly thing is equidistant from the other wobbly thing, and in between is a fox on fire. Alright. That was just filler commentary of what that was. Alright, here we go. First try. Hmm? I know there's a way to guarantee this every time. Yes, got it. How's it taste? What do we got? What do we got? Gerudo training ground keys. That's right. I never finished that because I was all tired and being like, I don't want to do this. Well, we could go back there now and go through the whole maze. That's stupid. Why did I back out of that thing? I mean, maybe it's good now, because now we have the keys for it. So yeah, I guess if like you were to plandomize something and put the keys somewhere else, you would want to... Um, what was I saying? Yeah, you would want to put the keys somewhere else with the intention of getting them first before going to do the thing that the keys are for. I don't know, somewhere in my logic that made sense. Silver scale! That's the letter in a bottle as a kid. Hmm. It's supposed to be the mirror shield. So this changes this temple. Like this door we can't do. We could go a little further with the long shot and stuff over here, but is it worth it? Hang on. Uh. Yeah. Let's check the spiders. Since we got 40, we'll grab the wallet. Um, mirror shield is a problem. I didn't even think about that. We can't beat the spirit temple boss without the mirror shield. But we have to. The Spirit Temple was a medallion. Eh, crud. Where could these things be? I, I want it to be this spider thingy, but we know it's a wallet. Maybe 50 is the mirror shield. Thank God 100 can't be anything. That would be so tedious. Yeah, that's a giant wallet. Well... I guess it's nice to have. Alright, we're back in the Gerudo training grounds. I guess the first thing to do would be to the maze now that we got the key ring. So, screw the right, go left. And is this the one? Yeah, this is the one that has the invisible ceiling. So we gotta finish this place up since I stupidly left it. But this is actually good though, like I said, now that we have the keys. We can be in here fully knowing that we can complete it. So we got a couple more trial rooms to do too. In addition to this maze. Have you guys watched my Time Splitters 2 Let's Play or Time Splitters Future Perfect? They were fun. I'd be really bad if I went to play it now. I'm all, that's the thing, I 
fall out of practice in all these games that I used to be good at. And it's just like, whatever. Are you kidding me? That's a nice uh, turquoise color. Oh wait, why is it red? And why does it look like that? Is this a mod loader thing again? I can't believe we just found this thing. Considering we were just talking about it, uh, well, all right, let's do the trial rooms. So do we go back to the, s no, don't leave this place again. Just finish it. Cause you never know. Heck, if I finished it the first time, I, we would have had the mirror sh Oh no, because we didn't have the key ring. Oh wow, so that really makes you go to the spirit temple before... The Gerudo training ground. There's nothing for it. We're doing this. We still need light arrows. We still need fire arrows. Well, fire arrows aren't required, I don't think, but... Mm. We still don't have the serenade of water, either. We don't have any of the slingshot bags. And there's a handful of hearts out there still, too. The Arwing might not make it. This baby can take temperatures up to 9,000 degrees. Don't fly too low, your ship can't take it. <laughs> I love that how Slippy states how everything's fine and like immediately Peppy chimes in in his panicked voice like, you can't make it, it's all gone to crap. I think Stardew Valley might be my best Let's Play. Well, that and Harvest Moon 64. Those ones were pretty good. That's like the closest to air-conditioned shoes we'll get. People think air-conditioned shoes is a bad idea, but... You wear a tight pair of shoes on a hot day, and you tell me that air-conditioned shoes is still a bad idea. Big or on pokes. One-hit kills, man. There's still a stick capacity out there somewhere, too, I think. Unless it caps out at 20, I can't remember. I thought it went up to 30. Or 40 or something. Money in the bank, money. Closer to 50. Nine more to go. Two more to go. One more to go. Did it? Rogue Squadron. Yeah, two for two, man. Oh, this room is for butt cheeks. Let's get the Scarecrow before we jump down.
It's weird how like you could say something like that and you understand what you mean, but nobody else would understand what you mean. Like if I was talking to myself and giving instructions, I'd be like, oh, then you go through that room that's for butt cheeks. And you'd be like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about and know exactly what to do. But to say that to somebody else, they'd be like, what? It's part of the no-nonsense policy. I'm familiar with the filler nonsense that annoys me. In this case, the inability to call the scarecrow from the bottom. Thusly making this room for butt cheeks. Because the fairy goes up there as if you can do it, and you can't. Double defense. I forgot that was a thing. So, Spirit Temple? Gotta finish that up still. I think this is the last room. That's a chest, too. How soon we forget. Is that it now? Are we back in the lava room? Yeah, so we did all the trials. So we did this on our first trip in here. So back to the spirit temple we go. Alright, I believe this is the room we left off in. Because we weren't able to do this. Forty-two now. Fifty could be something. So now the rest of the dungeon. The mirror shield doesn't... Well, it does matter. We, it's to lower the platform for the boss. And then the boss fight itself. Ooh. I don't know what happened there. The buttons got all kinds of messed up. Yeah. Got the Watch Dogs games to be going out soon. I'm curious to see how badly they perform. Hopefully not, though. It would just be nice to do a Let's Play that performs well. That isn't a Zelda game. That's kind of the whole point of the channel, but I don't know. That's enough cranking about that. Let's just enjoy the fact that we're enjoying Zelda again, instead of being fed up with it. But yeah, we got Mario RPG coming out. Mario Wonder? What it, I don't know how I feel about Mario Wonder. I'm not like that excited about it, but I know it's gonna be good. But yeah, that Starfield game, like I wouldn't mind almost like spending the rest of the year playing only that. 
Assuming it's gonna be as good as it seems. If it ends up being kind of crap, then I don't know. Oh, that doesn't work? Hmm, I thought it did. I still gotta do long dark survival mode live streams. Just casual hanging out, but that's another game. Like, when I stop playing games, I do them, I get familiarized with the controls, and then I forget how to play them when I go back to them and think of them again. Like, I like to think of myself as a jack-of-all-trades when it comes to video games, but... There's still something about short-term memory and, like, recency bias. Also known as practice, I guess. Wait a minute, I didn't get that spider! Can we grab it from here? The fairy's going as if we can summon the scarecrow. It's technically on a different floor, so it's not going to work. That's too much for the N64. Wait a minute. It looks like... It looks like it can just reach. Well, how about that? Keys? To what? The fire temple? I don't want to go there, but we might have to. Oh, this boss. You youth league dogs don't stand a chance. <laughs> I love that quote. It's like in Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, that let's play that I'm doing. The amount of times they refer to each other as dogs. Ah, screw this boss. I'll see you when it's annoying. Yes, sir. That is how you one cycle the second phase. I always worry that I'm not going to be able to do it for some reason, but I do tend to get that one cycle quite often. Alright, quit your crying. Nobody cares about how old you two are. The sad truth of the world, when you get too old, people stop caring. You just kind of become a statistic for people who go, Oh yeah, look at how old this person is, now the oldest person in the world. Sun Song, the frogs! We have we never played Epona's song for the frogs either. Hmm. Fire Temple Keys. Two songs for the frogs. Fire Medallion. Wait! Kakariko's on fire. My world's on fire. How about yours? That's the way I like it, and I never get bored. So absolutely, we gotta check that. That could be light arrows or something. Which actually... Is that all we need? We have all medallions. We can go to Ganon's castle. So yeah, we just need light arrows. Because in Ganon's castle, somewhere in there is going to be Ganon's castle key. What was I saying? The frogs? 
Oh, so we gotta become a kid and all that and hike over to the river. Alright, I'll see you by the frogs, because I want to see what those two new items are. Epona sings a song every day again. That was a new rendition. Ah, crawd, but it is... I like that this is new. I enabled it for a reason, so it's gotta be important, right? I guess there's a chance it could not be. Well, they had magic in the beginning of the game. Small key for the bottom of the well. I mean, we could. We're a kid. Bottom of the well is relatively fast. And there's a lot of chests in there. That's actually... Wait. Next to Ganon's castle, that's probably the next best treasure trove of things. So we might as well check it out. And then go to Ganon's castle light room with all those treasure chests. Then there's the fire temple we got the keys for, which definitely is at the bottom of the things that I want to do. Uh, let's save just in case the emulator does something weird. I'm just so used to Project 64 locking up if you go in here at night. It's weird that the Song of Storms was in its vanilla location. I was just trying to remember, like, where did we find that? I was like, oh yeah, it wasn't anywhere special at all. It was where it's supposed to be. I do like it when it speeds up, though. Alright, bottom of the well. We got a lot of things to find down here. Most of it's going to be junk because we have a lot of stuff at this point. Fire arrows, light arrows. Light arrows would change everything. Light arrows ends the game. So, I mean, yeah, I'm going to Ganon's castle after this, man. I don't even know why I'm down here, but... There is a lot, though. This could be the seed that gets the better of me, man. Just searching around for the last item, and it's like, where the heck is it? We had such a hard time in that attacking toucan seed. Oops. That didn't burn my shield? I thought it did. Wait, something went wrong. How did I not turn by the chest? Camera's spazzing out. It really wants me to get to 50 gold sculptures, I think. That could be light arrows. But these gold sculptures could be light arrows. Because they're technically considered dungeon ones and they're shuffled. this bad feeling that we're gonna be here for like three more hours looking for something like it just I don't know the fire temple just occurred to me that like it exists 
So there's the possibility we could waste all this time in the well finding bundles of arrows. Have to go to the fire temple and like go to the bitter end of it to find light arrows. But absolutely, we should do Ganon's trials next. Because we will find Ganon's boss key in doing that. And there's a high probability of finding the light arrows there, too. So that's the plan. Let's finish this up and uh, go to Ganon's castle. Oh yeah, the like like Yeah, now let's go to that room. That room has a lot of stuff. That's stupid. And we have the lens of truth, so I can actually do it this time, unlike in the seed I did with Tyler, where I tried to do this without the lens and I just sucked at it over and over again. Washcloth. Man, did you guys ever have the volcano menu at Taco Bell? It was really good. I had the volcano burrito, but then the weirdest thing happened to me. I threw up. <laughs> Not right away. It was like I digested it and everything was fine for like six hours. I went to bed, fell asleep for a little bit, woke up in the middle of the night, and then threw up. So it was like eight hours after eating it. So I don't know, man, that's just... Like, I want to get the Volcano Burrito again, because it was so good, but... I don't want to throw up again. <gasps> Thank you, Volcano Burrito! We're done, dude. That's it. That's the seed. Rainbow Bridge to Ganon's Castle to Ganon's Key. Oh, Ganon's Key is going to be annoying now. Because now we're on the fast track. All right, I'll see you there at the Rainbow Bridge. The celebratory moment. Isn't it kind of weird that that is considered singing? Just people being like, oh. Now, which trial room? I think I had the trial set to zero. Yes, yeah, so we could go straight into the tower, but we need the boss key. So where the heck is the boss key going to be? We might have to do all the trials anyway. Force medallion. That's, that's a quick check. That's right here. Uh, yeah, we don't have Ganon's key. I think that's all the treasure in the forest one, so screw that mess. Where's the room with the bunch of chests? That's the light one, right? So we need to throw the rock. Well, the water has two right in there, too. I'm going to the light one. Go where there's a high probability of finding it, right? Like, wouldn't that logically make sense? I guess not. It could be anywhere. Oh, the Deku scrubs in here, too. They could have the boss key. The Deku scrubs had a lot of stuff this seed. Yeah, we might have to pay them a visit. Oh, there's the free Goron tunic. In here the whole time. Oh, 
Well, we don't have to go to the fire temple. All we have to do is find the boss key. So, uh... That's good. Thank God. No fire temple. There it is! That's it. We're done. Nothing but Ganon now. What a seed that was! floats the bottom of the well yeah that was a crazy find man from the frogs to the well who would have thought that dreams come true and who would have thought I ended up with you but it wasn't it was something light and darkness coming through I don't remember the rancid lyrics all right wait watchers Trying to spin attack so we can hustle along. All right now, Mr. Tennis All Star. Um, oh, I was, he kept that going for a while. Wait, watch. You know, that reminds me, I have ice cream in my fridge. It's not Weight Watchers or anything, but, uh... We lost power in a really bad storm, and I wasn't home. So I don't know how long I was out out of power, but at my sister's house we were out of power for like 11 hours. So it's possible that the ice cream in my freezer is no good anymore. Yeah! That's something I wanted to discuss. I was just at the beach, right, in Alabama at the Gulf Shore I was telling you? And yeah, I'm really scrawny. I've been scrawny my whole life and underweight. But I've got a little bit of a belly now, man. It's that old metabolism slowing down thing. And a lot of McDonald's and Taco Bell, I guess. But my dad has a gut. But he, he also drank a lot of beer when we were growing up and stuff. But yeah, I don't like the shape of my body right now. It's like a skinny kid with a belly, kind of. And I keep saying to people that I'm a little bit chubby. And they're like, no, you're not. You don't have an ounce of fat on you. But I feel like I weigh the most I've ever weighed. It's chunky days down here. I'm only like 120 pounds, but like, that's, that's what I mean. Like, that's nothing. People look at that and think, oh my God, you need to eat a sandwich. But the ratio of my scrawny bones to belly fat. It's no longer the flat abs it used to be. It makes me very sad because I used to have to not work not have to work out and it didn't matter now I need to do crunches I guess and get my flat stomach back if it's even possible or just be a fatty for life yes
My one cousin has kind of a belly too, and he's got that same skinny build that I have, so it looks weird, like you're scrawny everywhere, except you have like this bulbous central region. I never used to be self-conscious about the bulbous central region, but now I am. Because of the fact it never used to be bulbous. Not gonna stop me from eating tacos though, and lots of seafood. So it goes, another seed down. See, even this, you don't need to be get much flashier than that for Zelda using her magic. It gets the point across, you can do it in one sitting. turned into Link there at the end. Well, all right, we don't have to sit through the whole credits. That is another seed done. That was actually a fun one. I, I enjoyed that one. We got lucky again in a lot of spots. Like, it's actually kind of a brief video, I think. It's not too many parts that I have to splice together. So that's good. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, it'd be cool if you check out some of my other Let's Plays, like Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, or Time Splitters, or some of the other stuff I've done in the past. I've done a whole lot at this point. And we're going to keep going. I, I do want to do Starfield when that comes out, but I don't know. I got to buy an Xbox still, and I want to buy it for my dad primarily, not myself. So other than that, there's like Mario RPG, Mario Wonder. And I don't know. I, I still want to do that action replay Path of Radiance playthrough too. So we'll flush Ganon down and say goodbye, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll do another one sometime soon, maybe co-op again with somebody. But thank you, and take care.